So one of the cool things about uh, assets that are compatible with the mannequin skeletons is that you can use the mannequin control rigs for any character that is a epic compatible skeleton. So this character is from a uh, primitive character pack that was free for the month some time ago, and the characters do not come with control rig, but here I am using the mannequin body control rig to uh, animate them, uh, move them around here. And so this tutorial is just going to show how we can set this up. So let's get going. Now, before we get started, the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the control rig in our project. And we're going to get that from the third person template. So we click the add button here in content browser and go to add feature content pack. And then with that, we're going to just choose third person and add that to project. I've already done that. And the important folder for that is this characters folder. So under content characters, if the character that we're getting from Fab is a UE5 compatible, we'll use the control rig that's in the mannequins folder. If it is UE4 compatible, then we'd use the control rig that's in UE4. So with this in place, let's move on. Okay, so starting out with a blank level, I'm going to go ahead and bring our character in here, E to rotate him so he's facing us, and that's just great. Now let's try to add him to a sequence, so I'll right click cinematics, level sequencer, I'll just leave the name default, double click to open it up, and here uh, with that character selected we will add him to the sequencer. All right, I'm not going to use animation because I want to use control rig. So if I click the plus button here and go to control rig, um, you know, we don't have the mannequin control rig, even though this is compatible. And the reason is that Unreal doesn't know that this is a compatible skeleton yet. So we're just going to set that up. We'll click on the character, go into details for him, and double click on the skeletal mesh. And then here we'll go to the skeleton panel. Then we'll open the retarget manager and add a skeleton. In this case, we're going to add the mannequin skeleton. So uh, let's try man. All right, so SK mannequin and hovering over this, this is in game characters, mannequins meshes. So this is from the uh, third person character. So this will have the control rig. So I define that as being compatible. We can see this is uh, the same arrangement. The bone name should be the same. I mean, that's the documentation for this asset that this is compatible. So we'll go ahead and save those changes, close this. And now if we go to the add menu, we can go to control rig and and see our mannequin body is available to us. So now we can click on that and we've got a full control rig for this guy, full FK, IK, W, did I get me up? He's ready to go. So we can animate him with the mannequin control rig. So I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.